Okay, hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to be making a more drum and bass style synth. Uh, I don't actually make much drum and bass, but I heard this sound in a uh, in a song, and I just really like the the fullness and the tone that was coming out of that sound in the mix. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and uh, reverse uh, design that uh, synth. So. I went and tried my hand at it, and this is what I came up with. Um, basically, it sounds like this. It's very liquidy. Uh, it seems to like move around. Um, it's it's like a, a Reese bass kind of thing. Um, it's actually very simple. Uh, I just messed around with some stuff in Thor, and uh, I made this actually rather quickly and kind of by accident. I just kind of went in here and messed things up uh, from another thing that I had made, and this is what I came up with. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's initialize this patch, and we are going to start with... A line mixer as always and an instance of Thor now let's go ahead and initialize that if you haven't already and we're gonna start with two wavetables and the position on this one is gonna be at 81 the octaves are both gonna be at 2 and the semitones are both gonna be at 7 Route all three of these, and you're going to need an analog sine wave at oscillator two, uh, at uh, octave two, sorry. And you're going to sync all these. I'm just copying what I had on here. Uh, full, turn the chorus on, and you're going to bring the chorus amount down to about four. Um, also, you're going to bring this envelope amount up to 72 uh, hold shift to get that precise uh, number and um, we don't need to do anything here make sure this is clicked uh, bring the drive up on the shaper to 79 um, filter envelope attack is at 5.3 Decay is at 1.6. Uh, sustain is all the way up. Release is at 4.35. Uh, the attack here stays the same. Pull both of these up. Leave the release there. Actually, bring the attack up. Let me see what I had it on over here. I had it at 0.9. Um, and then from there, what you're going to want to do is grab a state variable, grab the notch filter, bring the frequency to about 368, and bring the low pass to 46. And if you're wondering why my mouse keeps disappearing, is because I have another window open here where it's not recording. And I'm just double checking for you guys to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, basically, that is our synth. Now we're going to beef this up with some equalization and a scream. So let's go ahead and grab an equalizer. I like to do my equalization and stuff on the top. Um, turn on the lows. We're going to be using all of these. Frequency, bring it to 92.5. Gain, 10.3. 1.47. The next one, 57.5. I mean, 0.9. Nope, yeah, it's 0.5 of that. I have it over here, but I mean, I don't think that'll make much of a difference. Um, 8.6. If 
you want to get it exact, I mean, you can go back and do that. 3.7. Um, next parameter, 447. Nine point two. Can't get it at nine point two. Uh, and three point eight. I'm not gonna try and get it precise. Just trying to get through the video. Um, fifty-seven point four eight, four point three. whatever and 0 0.77 all right now from there you're going to go ahead and create a screen for distortion uh, make sure that you link them properly flip the rack around make sure that they're correctly uh, in uh, you're going to go ahead and set the damage control at 42 and put it on tube leave this the way it is turn off the cut Bring the scale all the way down, leave it on type B, and leave it where the master is at. <clears throat> now, to get that wide sound, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a unison. And to get the punchiness, uh, and kind of squash the sound a bit, let's bring in a compressor. Make sure that's all lined up correctly. We're going to leave it at 16th voice count, and we're going to have the dry wet at 103. Three. That's what makes it really wide. Uh, this is just the settings that I had it on. You can go ahead and mess with these to your liking to fit your track. Um, but this is 38. Um, but um, it's really up to you what you want to do with it. This is just the basis for that kind of airy sound that I was going for. Um, so go ahead and do that. 21 point... Eight. Turn on the softeny. I had the ratio at seven thirty point one, and I just brought up the output gain to one point nine. And finally, all I did was I merged and split that right here. So hit tab, flip this around, and then like in my other video, if you've seen it. You just split that and now you have two audio sources and pan those hard left and hard right and we should have something fairly similar to what I made before. Oh, I'm actually playing the other one. What was I missing? Oh, I know what I was missing. Uh, I forgot to do this up here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to turn on the mono legato, put on the portamento, and put the portamento at 51 is where I had it. And now... <laughs> Now you have that kind of gliding between the notes that gives it that moving uh, sound. So go ahead and mess with this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's a little bit uh, more advanced than the other patches that I've been making in Reason. But um, it's not too complicated. Uh, if you have any questions and if I wasn't clear on anyth anything, uh, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment. Um, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks. Have a nice day.